so heavy. Oh my god. Where did you send me the Bible? I need it. Ah, who did this? Friendship transcends taste. <gasps> Whoa! Nobody asked you to do this. Happy birthday. I hope you enjoy this gift of trauma. <gasps> you did it. I'm Rachel, this is Let Me in the Library, and today we're going to do a gigantic birthday book haul. So a lot of you are very kind and you sent me a bunch of books, and I'm really excited to see what it is that you sent to me. So that's what we're doing today. I am opening up all of these books. This is like an unboxing birthday book haul situation. Um, so thank you so much in advance to everyone who sent me something. Of course, if you did not, please don't worry. I don't think any less of you as a friend, and I really do appreciate you still. Um, and those of you who did send me something, Thank you very much. We're going to open these right now. Um, I have my handy box cutter and we're going to go right ahead and we're just going to open these up and see what we got. It's a book. Ooh, oh, it's a hundred years of solitude. I would like to buddy read this. It's actually a pick for my book club. But anyway, look at that cover. Wow. Happy birthday. I love you so much from a cup from Nicole. Thank you so much, Nicole. I'm so excited to read this. It is 100 Years of Solitude by Gabrielle Garcia Marquez. I'm very excited to read this and I mean, you know, this is just one of those books that is a classic. It's very important um, to a lot of people in the Global South. So I'm very excited to read this on its own and uh, as a part of Nicole's book club. So thank you so much, Nicole. Thank you, my wife. Whoa. This is a thick boy. Oh, it's Bible Royale! Woo! Oh my god! I don't know if everybody knows this about me, but I'm a really big fan of like death game tropes like the Hunger Games, and this is sort of like the original Hunger Games, which is so exciting. Um, I, I absolutely love all of those uh, things that have been based off of Battle Royale, so it would be really exciting to actually read the original for the first time. This is so cool! Ah, like, look at the text on the inside! Like, here to go. Here it is! Haha! -ha. Look, the quadrants! This is so exciting! I knew it! Ah, the speed with which I clicked order when I saw this on your wish list. Happy birthday, my dearest! Thank you for being such a kind and welcoming presence in the book community. I hope you enjoy. From Shy from the Lo-Fi Book Cafe! Thank you so much, Shy. I knew this was from you because this is one of Shy's favorite books. I think this has been her favorite book for the longest time and maybe it was recently outranked by another book, but thank you so much, Shy. I'm so excited to read this. Ah, look at this floppiness. Oh, look at my excitement. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Once again, I am here to say love you, bestie. Wishing you the best year ever. Love your Manda Panda from Manda. Thank you, Manda. Where'd you get? <gasps> it's Robo versus Fairies. Ah! I'm actually a really big fan of anthologies and short stories and stuff. So I saw this and it looked really cool. So I put it on my wish list. So gorgeous. And it looks so, like such a cool anthology. So I'm so excited to read this. Thank you so much, Manda. This is so cool. I love this so much. Li like literally, have you seen such a gorgeous cover in your life? Look at this. Oh, beautiful. Fantastic. Just like you. Thank you so much. I love you so much. Thank you. I couldn't miss the chance to get you to read one of my favorite books. I hope you love it as much as I did. Happy birthday, Rachel, from Lena. And it's Grace and Kings. Oh my god. Okay, for a long time, I wasn't 100% sure if I would like this, but I read The Paper Menagerie by Ken Liu, which has been one of my favorite books ever, not just this year, but ever. It's such a great short story collection, and it's one of those things that I feel like really transcends the short story genre, so even if you don't like short stories, you might love this anyway. And after that, I completely fell in love with Ken Liu's writing, and I just knew like I had to read The Grace of Kings, and I'm so excited for it. So thank you so much, Lena. I'm so excited. This is also such a gorgeous copy, too. There's someone named Dara in it. Maybe it's Dara, but like, if you know what I'm talking about, you know. You know what owns my ass. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. <gasps> oh, it's cultish. It's cultish. You can just tell straight out the box. It's cultish. Ah! This is about the languages uh, and, and like words that we use. Uh, in general, when we talk about cults and we talk about certain ideas which tend to indoctrinate people into cults, which is just so interesting. 
Hi, <laughs> hi birthday ho! My Leo moon simply had to get you something we could buddy read together, you know, since we're pros at that. Love you, hope you had the best birthday ever from Noel. Thank you, oh my gosh, thanks so much. Happy birthday, my Leo queen. I hope you will like this book as much as I do from May. It's so fancy, like when you gotta splurge and you get the little extra bag, the gift bag. What could it be? <gasps> it's the space between worlds! I know that May also really enjoyed this book uh, this year, I think. I think this year, maybe last year, but yeah. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Also, I thought this was like a gigantic thick book, which is why I was really intimidated by it, but actually it's very skinny as a paperback. So it makes me think that like this isn't as scary to read. Yay, thank you so much, May. I can't wait to read it. Thick. Oh, I bet this is a mass market paperback book, which is fantastic. You look at it first and then I'll look at it after. Okay, the note says, Happy birthday, friend! Haven't read this yet, but possibly a buddy read? Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Hope you have the most splendiferous of birthdays. We still need to go get bubble tea and ramen. Yum! Love, Steph, from Steph from Coffee Over Apples. I just- Oh! It's the Way of Kings! Oh my god! <laughs> so, this is the first book. This is like a thousand pages. This is always the one that intimidates people, but some people say this is literally their favorite book ever, which makes me definitely want to read it. So thank you so much, Steph. And also, I love mass market paperback books. Um, so this is really exciting. Thank you so much. I can't wait to read this. And we are getting that ramen and bubble tea. Don't you worry. We are definitely going to do that. All right, I'm going to, again, let you see the book first, because I think that's fun. Okay, you see it. I'm, my eyes are closed. I can't see. All right, you look at it. And the note says, this is one of my favorite books of all time. And you're one of my favorite people. I love you so much from Molly. And it's the Song of Achilles. A booktube classic, a booktube fave. And I've just never read it. But it's definitely something I wanted to read before the end of this year, for sure. And I kept putting it off because I didn't have a physical copy. But now I have a physical copy. I can't wait to see what all the hype is about, too. Because this is definitely one that makes people cry and I want to see if I cry. I'm very excited for it. Thank you so much, Molly. Love you. You hear that, right? Okay, you look inside. You tell me what you see. See anything good? Okay, it says, this book looks really cool. I hope it's one you'll enjoy. <laughs> Happy birthday. I love you so much. So glad that we are in a... I can't read. Wait, this is also from Cup of Nicole. <laughs> Wait, what? You sent me two books? This book looks really cool. I hope it's one you'll enjoy. Happy birthday. I love you so much. So glad we're your internet friends. Hope to meet you one day. Ah, from A Cup of Nicole. Nicole, you did not have to send me multiple books. <laughs> Ooh, it's Things We Lost in the Fire. Look at this pretty, like, yellow Let Me in the Library color. Okay. Look at the spine. Oh my gosh. Ah, yes. Oh my god. Ordinary situations that take sudden and dark turns. That is exactly my wheelhouse. That's exactly what I love. Thank you, Nicole. You did not, you seriously did not have to get me multiple books. So thank you again. Thanks so much. I can't wait to read it. This is not really for my birthday. This is extremely long overdue, but I still wanted to say thank you because these are from Lily and these are from a giveaway that I won from her. So I have a thousand beginnings and endings, which is kind of a bunch of short story collections. Uh, I was made aware of this through the Asian Readathon when this was a group book for that, but I never got around to it and it just seemed really, really good. So I definitely wanted to get my hands on it. And then I also have Ray Bearer and this is that really pretty UK copy. There's like that secret face in between the lines, which is really cool. Um, and I'm just really excited to read both of these. Whoops, both of these. So thanks so much, Lily. I am really appreciative. Um, thank you again. This is heavy. Oh my God. Where did you send me the Bible? I need it. Oh, I bet this is the Broken Earth Trilogy. I bet. It's the Broken Earth Trilogy. Who the, who did this? Who in their right mind did this? <laughs> Wait, there's no note. Wait, I don't even know who in their right mind who did this. Whoever you are, thank you. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Real quick, I found out who sent me the fifth season trilogy, the Broken Earth trilogy. It was Sasha from the Redhead Reader. Thank you so much, Sasha. I just wanted to properly thank you on camera because I did chat with Sasha and said like, do you send me this? Because she mentioned that her thing did not come with a note. So thank you again, Sasha. I'm so excited for this. You look, I'll read. This is what it says. I have my eyes closed. All right, this is the book and it says, happy birthday, my sweet baby. I hope you have the best day. I absolutely adored Lakewood and hope that you enjoy it too. Fingers crossed. I love and miss you so much from Molly. Molly again. Oh my God, Molly. Lakewood. Oh my God. Thank you. I can't wait to read it. This has been on my TBR ever since I found out about it and it seems so cool. Um, I, I'm just absolutely thrilled. I love you with my whole heart. So therefore I am feeding your Lisa Lutz love. 
<gasps> the Passengers. I read The Swallows' favorite book of 2021. So good. Have to immediately read all of Lisa Lutz's backlist now. Happy birthday, Queen. It's been a blessing to know you for two whole birthdays now. There's two items from... There's two items, so let me write on the other one from Manda. Oh my god. Wait, the fact this is from Manda? I picked The Swallows for the Winers Book Club because I wanted to force myself to read this book that has, you know, just been recommended to me and it was very highly up on my TBR and I really wanted to just read it, finally just read it. So I made it a Winers Book Club pick and we all read it and Manda really didn't like it. And you may know that Manda and I tend to usually kind of disagree on certain books. Uh, where she might really love them and I'll hate them or I'll really love it and she won't like it. So the fact that she sent me a Lisa Lutz book when she really did not enjoy The Swallows, thank you. <laughs> like it's just friendship transcends taste and that's the most important lesson that we've learned here today. Thank you so much. This is just, you're an angel. You're just truly an angel. Happy birthday! I hope you enjoy this gift of trauma from Jess from Verity Books! Thank you! What could it be? <laughs> this feels like a teaser. Gift of trauma. <gasps> you did it! First of all, this is so heavy. And it's also the House of Leaves. This is a book that like makes people hate reading, I think, and I can't wait to try it. Frankly, I know very little about what this book is about, um, but what I do know is that it's very multimedia based, which is very much my thing. So flipping through here, um, I think you can kind of see it's like kind of weird formatting and spacing, and at certain points it gets like very strange like this. Thank you for this gift of trauma, Jess. I can't wait to try it and get traumatized. Think okay, what's this? <gasps> it's an ember in the ashes! People, are you seeing this? It's an ember in the ashes. Ah! Oh my god. Okay, hold up. Keep your gift a surprise. No. Obviously, I had to get this for you, and if you hate it, well, Happy birthday anyway, and have a nice life. I love you. <laughs> From I Wish I Were a Baby, Steph. So I think that's the note that goes with this. And then I have another note. It says, happy birthday, friend. I'm so glad I know you and that we can share our trauma comedy. Hopefully soon we can take it on the road. From Shug Daddy Steph. Oh, God. What's in here? Oh, it's wrapped? It's wrapped. It's a hardcover. This is pretty. What is this? It's year breakers! <laughs> Look at this! Ah! Oh my god, it's gear breakers! Which is like Pacific Rim, but a little different and better, potentially. Ah! And look at that! Gear breakers! Oh my god! <laughs> thank you! I can't wait to read these! This is so awesome! Ah! Thank you! <laughs> I'm so happy! You thank today's sponsor, Friendship. Um, love you. Another book depository. Oh, oh. <laughs> I can't. I have to stop having these like, like seal reactions. Like, it's last night at the Telegraph Club, which I've been really wanting to read so badly. So, ah, and I know this is from Nicole Lee. So thank you. God, it's so cute. Thank you so much, Nicole. I can't wait to read it. Note. Happy birthday, Rachel. I hope you enjoy the books. I haven't read any of the titles on your wish list, so I just searched by priority. LOL. I hope you have an amazing birthday from Aline. <gasps> Whoa! I need to make fun of myself for a second because that was a little ridiculous and there was no need for me to react in that way. But as I mentioned before, I love Ken Liu. And this is a Ken Liu book. It's The Hidden Girl and it's a bunch of more short stories. Thank you. I need to calm down. Thank you. Oh my god. And Fox 8. I love Fox 8. Fox 8, also like a favorite book of the year, to be honest. It's this short and it's like 
everybody should read it. It's so good. I love it so much. I would reread this in a heartbeat every day, all the time. Thank you. Oh my god. I love these so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. I think I know what this is because it's not a book. These are the Uniball Signo white like gel pens that I use for bullet journaling and I was running out so I put some on my wish list but I didn't actually think anyone was gonna buy them for me. I just put them on my Amazon wish list. <laughs> Mo said happy birthday and happy journaling from Mo from the Ruby's Digest. So thank you Mo. I can't wait to see your bullet journal and no I haven't forgotten. Thank you. It's in the dream house. Oh my god. Wait, I'm currently reading this. Hey, happy birthday. I hope you like this from Kirsten, from Kirsten's Corner. Thank you. This is a memoir of a queer woman who was in an abusive relationship. Uh, and it's a very, very like raw and interesting um, like foray into that because she has such a lyrical way of writing. So I've been really enjoying what I've read of this so far and I'm really looking forward to finishing it. And now I actually have my own physical copy. So thank you. <laughs> looking. I'm just reading this. Okay. Happy- <laughs> this is so late me opening this. Happy booktube birthday! I'm glad you're around and that we are friends! Love you! From the roomies from- like from the roomies but also like it signed Christine because I knew Christine sent me something for my booktube birthday and then I just simply didn't open it because I'm horrible. It's the firekeeper's daughter which- thank you! Oh my god! It's beautiful. I've heard only incredible things about this book and it is like a YA thriller, indigenous owned voices, which is really cool. Thank you so much. I love you, both of you, my roomies. Thank you so much, uh, the roomies for life. Thank you. <laughs> I heard that this is good and now we can buddy read it together. Happy birthday, love you from Christine. The Wolf of Orignano! Oh my God. Yes, I have heard that this is incredible. Perfect, perfect. Because also Christine is a gigantic fantasy like fan, um, huge into fantasy, and I am just dipping my toe into it. But this is a really cool adult fantasy I've only heard really amazing things about. So I have always been wanting to read this ever since I found out about it. Also because the series is literally called Chronicles of the Bitch Queen. Like, how do I not want to read that as a bitch queen myself? Happy birthday to my fave manga ho. Please stop being rude and move to the UK so we can see each other all the time. I've heard this book is wow, so we both reading only baddies are born in july so happy birthday from one to another from yasmin your hot friend and she got me the sort of kai gan which of course we are buddy reading so this is gonna be amazing so many people cry at this too so i can't wait to feel things but thank you yasmin i love you very much and i can't wait to go visit you in the uk or you could just come to new jersey i know i'll i'll i'll, I'll fly so I got the Red Mars series from some friends, uh, Nan and Dylan. Thank you very much. This is a really cool series I've been wanting to read. It is sci-fi and it is about terraforming Mars and making it uh, more habitable to human life as people try to go live there, but also a lot of people who just really don't want people to do that. So that seems really cool and I'm really interested in reading this. Just a little treat since you love Owen Wilson. <laughs> Did you get me Owen Wilson's memoir? Does he have a memoir or is that Matthew McConaughey? I have no idea. Um, happy birthday, bestie. Of course, I had to send you this hello, but when you hate it, just please be nice to me. I love you so much. Okay, bye from Darian. It has to be Strange the Dreamer, of course. Darian's favorite book. Finally, I own the book, the Darian Reads book, other than the other Darian Reads book, which I do not enjoy. But uh, anyway, Strange the Dreamer. Okay. Um, can't wait to read this and judge it. No, I'm just kidding. I will really enjoy this probably. I hope. I really enjoy things. I do like books, believe it or not. I do enjoy reading. Thank you. Can't wait to read this. And then- <gasps> You did? Oh my god, you actually got it? Why did you get- This isn't even Owen Wilson. <laughs> this is a different man, which I now know. Thank you. Why? <laughs> Nobody asked you to do this. <laughs> Nobody asked you to do this. I mean, thank you. Green Lights by Matthew McConaughey, aka Owen Wilson, aka Lightning McQueen. Wow. Thank you, Darian. <laughs> you, you little rascal.
thank you. So Casey from Casey Can Read also gave me the Jasmine Throne. She actually gave this to me in person, which is why I did not unbox it for you. And of course, being who she is, she couldn't just stop there. She had to give me this also. So, you know, well, thanks guys. I didn't know this was my brand, but yeah, it is. I'm truly speechless. And I also will say that Casey also gave me some chocolates uh, from this really, really good chocolate place. So thank you. Uh, on top of that, you know, I do love my chocolate. I also have a gift from a friend IRL who gave me my own player's handbook for D&D. I feel like booktube people are like, what? What? But like, if you know me, if you've been on my channel for a while, you may know that I really like D&D. That's why I do a D20 dice game every month for my TBR game. Um, but I love D&D. It's really cool. And I've always wanted to own like my own player's handbook, which is kind of what teaches you how to play D&D. And it helps you out with your character. And even after you have like created your character and you're playing your campaign, it's still really helpful to have one. So I've been literally borrowing it from the library every single time that it expires. And I just borrow it and I return it and then I take it out again. So finally, I have this. I don't have to borrow it anymore. Um, and this friend and I are actually in a campaign together. So we've been uh, on this campaign together for a long time. We are like, we go way back uh, and I love her very much. Thank you, Tia. And also it's exciting because now I am sort of DMing some stuff too. So it's really helpful to have this. So it is both useful and it also makes me want to scream because I'm so excited. So thank you, Tia. Thank you very much. I have an extra package that came a little bit later um, because Sid from Sid Bookworm said that she was mailing me something and then it accidentally showed up at her parents' house for some reason. So she had to grab it and then priority mail ship it to me so that it would come. Um, so thankfully I got it. It's safe and sound. Okay, I found the note at last. I genuinely think you'd love this, and I'm kind of baffled you don't own it yet. Happy day of birth, love bug. So grateful for your friendship from Turn Your Books Upside Down, Sid. Ah, oh, thank you, Sid. Um, I wonder what it is. The fact that I don't own it, but I would love it. What could it be? <gasps> of course! Oh my god. It's City of Brass. It owns my ass. I love this series a lot. The Dababud series is like one of the only full fantasy series I've ever read in its entirety because it was just so good. And every month I just could not resist picking up whatever the next book was. I'm excited to own this now. And it's such a beautiful copy. I absolutely adore it. And this is like the exact cover that I wanted too, like this paperback version cover. So thank you so much, Sid. I love it. And I love you. Oh, no. Don't go leave me. This is like half the stack and I can't even lift it. Good lord. Okay, well, thank you so much for all of these amazing books. I just don't know like what I would do if I did not have these glorious wonderful books just like this one. Um, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Every single one of you, you have really made my birthday uh, extra special. So thank you so much for doing that. I really, really appreciate you. And I hope that you enjoyed seeing this little haul uh, of, well, not little, it was actually gigantic, but um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing this haul. I really do appreciate it. Um, and if you enjoyed this, of course, you can subscribe, you can like this video, give it a big thumbs up so that I know you liked it. And uh, I'll see you later. I'm Rachel, this is Let Me in the Library, and I'll see you next time. Bye.